James Harden on his way to Brooklyn after the Rockets shipped him to the Nets for a package of players and draft picks. One of those players is Karis LeVert, who the Rockets then moved to Indiana in a swap for Victor Oladipo. But the Nets are the story, Pablo. They will now feature James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving if and when he returns. Do you see this working? I see this being, first of all, insanely volatile, Tony. It's worth noting that the pretext for this is that Kyrie Irving has been missing from work. We don't really know why. There are currently many questions speculating around the league. How are he and Kevin Durant getting along? All of which is to say that to throw James Harden in there is an explosive thing to do. But I do think that they had to do it. If you can get James Harden, Tony, one of the few things I am sure of in the NBA and sports in general, really, is that if you can get an NBA MVP candidate, a perennial one, you have to do it. I don't care about the chemistry if he is on the table. You try and get him, and then you figure it out, because maybe that helps address the fact that this Kyrie thing, we don't know what's going to happen there. Let's just follow the talent. Keep doing that. I love the trade because it makes it easier for me to hate the Nets even more now <laughs> as they load up in this way. I look at James Harden and what he has done this year in Houston. When he stopped playing, he stopped. He stopped running. He stopped working. He even stopped shooting, which is amazing. And he just poisoned the well there so that they had to get him out. You know, when he said, it was last night, he said, this just isn't working. And then they kept yeah. him away from practice today. So you knew that they were going to make a move. I wonder if he can play with Kyrie Irving, because I wonder if anybody can play with Kyrie Irving. And I wonder when Kyrie Irving will play again. I will say this about Harden. He's a great, great, great talent. He sabotaged the team he was just on. You don't know if that can happen again. The, the volatility reference is absolutely correct. He has played with Russell Westbrook. He has played with Chris Paul. He has played with Kevin Durant. These are great talents as well. And to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, he's never won a ring. So I don't know what you can bank on. But they have made this trade makes the Nets the most must-see team in the yes. NBA but by a long distance. And there's another name, Tony, that I think of when I was watching this deal unfold today amid the slow-motion divorce that you described with James Harden in Houston. And that's Anthony yeah. Davis. Because there were many critiques, right? Anthony Davis, terrible teammate, betraying his team, making it so hard for everybody there. Alvin Gentry in New Orleans, all of which was one million percent true. It was such a mess that made a lot of people think less of him. But the thing with talent at this level in the NBA, you still have to go and get that guy. Because what happens? You get Anthony Davis, the Lakers win a title. That is That's the right. number one most direct line between two points in the league. If you want to get to the title, you go get more superstars. Oh, no, I'm going to give you that. that that's, the, that's the perfect analogy. If I were Houston, and I thought about this this morning before this trade was made, if I was Houston and I wasn't letting a lot of fans in and it didn't really matter to me, I would have told James Harden, just sit over in a corner somewhere. Just leave me alone because <laughs> I'm getting my TV money and I don't need you. But if you're asking me, do the Nets have to make this trade 100% and does it carry with it risk 100%? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.